What is up YouTube? Back for another video on the 68 Mustang Fastback. Today we're going to be replacing all of this. Okay guys, so um, since I bought the car, it has had all of this molding and stuff on it. Um, it's tough to make out, but if you guys can see, it's pretty uh, chipped up, it's dented. There's, uh, you can see here, it's uh, it's a little banged up. There's some scratches here and the large um, grill surround pieces here. So uh, basically it's seen better days. Um, it's a little scratched up and dang. So uh, I had ordered all new stuff. We have a new center grill emblem, the corral, uh, the lower pieces here, uh, the hood molding and all the thin moldings as well. The only thing we're gonna be reusing is the actual grill itself and the large corral molding, which is in pretty good shape. So we're gonna take everything apart. I'm gonna give the grill a good cleaning. We're gonna give this large piece um, a good polishing, and then we're gonna replace everything else. So we're gonna break it all down. We're gonna see how all this new stuff fits. Everything purchased was from CJ Pony Parts. So I will go over how all the pieces fit, because a lot of times, um, there can be issues with some of the aftermarket pieces fitting on an older car. So we'll break it all down, we'll go over it all, and we'll see how much better it looks. Okay guys, so we have all the new molding installed on the front. Uh, like I said in the beginning of the video, I was gonna use the original grill, which is now mounted up on the wall with the other ones, looking pretty good I might say. But if you can make it out, there is some broken tabs and there was some bent tabs, it was chipped. So I figured if I was spending all this money and time replacing the front, I might as well get a new grill for it as well. So I waited a couple days and I ordered this brand new grill that just came. It is from Classic Reproductions Inc. I wound up getting it on eBay for $80 ship, so it was a good deal. I did read that they are substantially thinner and a little bit flimsier, and I can definitely tell you that it is true. So um, it is very thin metal, so when you are working with it, make sure that you are very careful. 
Hopefully we can get it on there without any problems. So we've got the new hood molding on. We've got all of this molding on. So let's get this grill installed, put the corral and the pony on and see how she looks. All right guys, so the front grill is all done. We've got the front chrome bumper was all polished up, the hood moldings on, and the entire front grill is all done. So we wound up replacing the grill. The only thing that we kept was the large corral trim, which I polished um, pretty well, so it looks real good. Everything else is brand new, and it looks absolutely killer on the car. So I hope you guys like this video. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Again, this aftermarket grill, if you go with it, is very, very thin, which is good in a way because it makes it where you can uh, bend it and it's pliable where you need it to. Um, but just be careful when you're wrenching on it that you don't bend or snap any of the bars on the grill. So overall though, for 80 bucks on the grill, you can't go wrong, as well as for all the moldings, um, pretty good upgrade and I think it looks so much better. So let me know what you guys think and thanks for watching.